police teams from the Zemir Police Department's Financial Crimes Unit raided more than 15 houses and shops early on Thursday belonging to locals thought to be affiliated with the Gulen movement, a faith-based initiative inspired by Turkish Islamic scholar Fethullah Gulen. Several of the locals were detained. Officers searched the houses and shops, some of which belonged to members of the Union of Active Educators, Active I Time Sen, known for its critical stance toward the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, in the early hours of Thursday morning, according to the Sahan News Agency. The searches were ordered by Prosecutor Ogan Bato, who also ordered the detention of 32 members of the police force in Zemir last month. For the duration of the searches, only members of the police force were allowed inside the buildings, while computers, hard disks, flash drives, cell phones, CDs and DVDs were seized. Eighteen people were reportedly detained. Those detained are accused of granting financial support to, and being affiliated with, the Gulen movement, which President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his associates within the AK party claim instigated a corruption probe incriminating four former cabinet ministers, businessmen with close ties to the government, senior bureaucrats and family members of then Prime Minister Erdogan. The graft probe went public on December 17, 2013. Isby, whose husband was detained, spoke with the news agency and denied that her husband has any connection to an illegal organization and stated that he was detained unjustly. My husband went out at 6 a.m. to buy bread and a newspaper. When he came back he told me that police were outside and intended to search the house. Then he was detained. He has been working as a teacher for almost 30 years. Both of our children are also public servants. We have no connection with any illegal organization, she emphasized. Brahim Kankia, a lawyer representing Active I Time Sen, also expressed serious concern over the legality of the operations. These raids are nothing but arbitrary actions to intimidate innocent people. There is no evidence, no concrete documents, nothing. We will continue our fight against this illegality, Kankia stated. The police raid was made legal by a controversial law passed in December 2014 allowing authorities to arrest anyone about whom there is reasonable suspicion, not necessarily tangible evidence of involvement in a crime. With the new law, the threshold for the burden of proof required to obtain a search warrant was reduced. The police are not only easily able to search any individual, their home and vehicle, but also seize the property of anyone under suspicion, on the grounds that the individual has committed a crime against the government. Over the past five months, more than 10 civil society organizations, including the Manasa Workers Association, MACAD, the Manasa Education Volunteers Association, MEGDER, the Manasa Active Educators Association, AKED, the Manasa Millennium Public Servants Association and the Manasa Industrialists and Businessmen's Association, MOSID, were also raided by police based on reasonable suspicion.